All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So today we're going to be looking at a device that I've been eagerly awaiting. This has probably got to be the device now that should officially start to be called the flagship killer again because it has all the specs of all the most powerful devices uh, at a much lower price. So we shall see how this works out. Um, I am super excited to bring it to you uh, and get it done here. So this is a 6.7 inch display on here. Uh, I did the initial order where you got the free case. So I bought this uh, directly from OnePlus. And so you get to choose a free case when you go through the app. So I went through the app because uh, I currently have the OnePlus 10 Pro and several other OnePlus devices. But I chose this this case right here. I just think this is the way to go. The Arbor, Armored Fiber case. I love these cases because they're ultra thin, but still provide some protection. Now, I was able to get the memory upgrade. Uh, and then I traded in my OnePlus 10 Pro. And they gave me 500 bucks for this. So I'm going to be sending that in. But first, I'll show you some comparisons. Uh, but this has a 5,000 mAh battery, 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, and 256 gigs of storage in here. So let's crack this open here. Uh, 50 megapixel shooter. I don't know why a person wouldn't call this the flagship killer again, because in fact, it is pushing up the specs of all the big boys at a much lower cost. So this year I did not go with the green. I went with the black because the green looks hideous. It's nice and shiny. So all the things that I don't want I don't want a glossy, glossy device. So I went with the black. Uh, and you have an 80 watt charger in here. Let's get this sticker off the back here. Yeah, this 80 watt. Oh, this just feels, man. I gave OnePlus the award for best feel in hand device. And this black, folks, kind of feel sorry for the people who got the green this year. Uh, <laughs> This black is it. And I'll do a comparison with the my 10 Pro in just a second. I might keep my 10 Pro. I might not give it up. I'm not sure. But here is, it's unfortunate they only give us 80 watts uh, for the US. When um, my international version of the OnePlus device, I got 160 watts. And then now they're offering, of the, 10, the 10T, if you get the international version, you get a 160 watt charger. And it literally charges the device all the way to 100 in about 19 to 21 minutes. It's incredible. So this year I see they're going with the USB-A for some reason. I don't know what that's about, uh, but here's the charger here. Um, and it is an 80 watt charger for the US, but you don't really want to see that. Let's go ahead and get all this put away here uh, and get the device going here. Uh, this is the case again that I chose, uh, but man, look, here it is next to the, the OnePlus 10 Pro. Uh, and I'm so glad that I went with the black this year because when I saw the 10T, uh, I was instantly blown away at how it felt in the hand and the way it looked. Uh, and I, I kind of like the, the subtle changes that these companies make sometimes. Uh, you had the square icon uh, set up on the back for the cameras. Uh, and now you have this round top on here. But this black is the way to go, folks. I, I, I don't like black shiny phones, but I'll definitely take a black phone that looks like this. Um, yeah, man, I was hesitant on trading this in. Now nah, I think I'm gonna trade it in. I was hesitant on trading it in because, you know, I, I don't think I'll be able to sell it later and I collect devices, but sometimes I'll go ahead and just get rid of some. Uh, but you know, nonetheless, let's fire this up. I'm going to transfer all my stuff. Uh, but this is just the first impressions on here, man. Oh, that, that had that motor on there. Wow. That is a strong motor, uh, on this vibration here. I still have the factory screen protector on here and it comes with a factory screen protector already on there. So, you know, you just have to, I, I kept mine on, I kept mine on. So pretty much you're getting ultimately that you can see, kind of see like the same style, if you will, display. It looks like it's the exact same display. I'm um, pretty sure it probably is. Looking along this side here, you got your vibrate and view, mute switch there. You got your power button. Uh, and obviously along the back here, you've got the round versus the square. And then you flip it over to this side. And you got your volume rocker in the same spot. Uh, and on top this time, looks like there's a cancellation mic up there. Kind of see it right there. And then on the bottom here, uh, you've got the microphone was on the antenna line on this one. And now it's off to the side of the antenna line. And it's also flat. Uh, yeah, it's flat now instead of being round on the bottom. I just noticed that. 
So the subtle change there. So it's round on the top, or excuse me, round on the bottom of the 10 Pro and then flat on the 11 Pro. Okay, so they're making some subtle changes. Uh, and again, it's flat on both sides, on both the top and bottom there. So I'm gonna get this set up, transfer. This is just my first impressions. I know we'll go more in detail, uh, but really I, I wanna save that for the other video. I'm gonna pop my SIM card in here and take it out of my um, S23 Ultra. Uh, so here it is next to the S23 Ultra, if you're, if you're wondering. This is how big it is. The, 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 the OnePlus deserves some credit uh, for, for this move right here. Uh, people, even if these cameras can't mess with the, like even if the cameras still aren't like super top notch, this phone costs $699 even if you don't have a trade in. Right now, recording this video, it's February 16th, and they're offering a memory upgrade basically anyway. So if you don't have a trade in, um, you know, you can still get the device for six ninety nine. That's just crazy. So you can get a sixteen gig, two fifty six gig, for six ninety nine, folks. That's that's better. That's a better deal than nearly everything that's out. The so called flagships right now. You know what I mean? So I mean, you look at these specs here. It is running down the best specs for the money. And dare I say it, some people might get a little salty, but. Don't you think it's an even better deal than the Pixel 7 Pro? I mean, the Pixel 7 Pro might have these killer cameras on here, but don't you, wouldn't you just go with the best deal? And some people might argue, you know, that you, you need to be comparing it to the Pixel 7. Um, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. This, this is a, this is the Pixel 7. This is a flagship. This is a flagship, but this is the lower tier flagship from Google. Now I can't wait to put this phone against the OnePlus, um, the OnePlus Seven, uh, OnePlus Eleven uh, uh, Pro because I think that's a phenomenal matchup. I think it's a phenomenal matchup, and you know, as much as you don't want to admit it, you know, it it competes with. And, and why people don't want to give the OnePlus lineup credit when they bring out this flagship is amazing to me. Um, yeah, no phone is flawless in every area. OnePlus's only downfall for me has just been video a lot of the times, but I'm going to see what that's about. So I'm going to put this to the test and I'm going to start using it. So um, I'm, I'm excited. I still have other Samsung phones incoming that I bought. And so we'll see how this matches up. But I think just on off the top, this is definitely a better deal than the Pixel 7 Pro when you do raw numbers. You know what I mean? So it's up to you to decide that, though. But to start of this show... Let's move all these out the way. The star of this show is oh, Google, by the way, you probably should sell this case right here because people seem tend to love it. I don't know what that's about, but people seem to love this case. You probably should go ahead and sell it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but this phone right here, man, is going to be a serious hit. It should be a hit amongst techies. There's just no reason why it shouldn't be. This is a this is beautiful hardware. It is the best feeling phone of all the phones I just brought in here, especially the S23 Ultra. It competes. It has a higher resolution. It to me is just going to boil down to cameras. That's going to be the only thing that separates this device from all these other devices. Are the cameras good? And for me, are, is the video cameras good? Now the the cameras on this device right here are beast mode. They just have some uh, the the colors that reproduced for video are not to my liking all the time, but it does have, like everything does do, everything does great outside. You know what I mean? So in, in certain situations, you need to be able to, to vlog in, in, in a regular light setting. Like I put the S23 Ultra in cinematic video, 4K 30, and you guys love that. It was like, oh my God, I can't believe it's on a phone. And right now, obviously, I need to tell you I'm recording with the Z Fold 4. That's been my, my phone of choice to record with. And again, I know I have a Sigma setup, but the convenience of editing right on my device sometimes, I like doing it. And like doing direct uploads too sometimes. But anyway, um, we're gonna see how this works out. This is my new OnePlus 11. Uh, and I'm excited to show you this thing. And Cause I like OnePlus products, man. I mean, I, my favorite OnePlus is the 3T. I've said it a bunch of times, but I'm ready for OnePlus to take it to, the another, to another level. And I love the 10. Pro, I love the 10 Pro, and I got some other OnePlus devices over there. But we'll see how this one pans out. I, I'm I'm really feeling this. Shout out to BG Tech Life. I watched this video and several others who have the OnePlus. If you got the black, 
you you got you winning you winning the black is it this year it's like a frosted matte black you winning if you got this one right here it's your man jay hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one take care